So when we're talking about AVMs, we're talking about hemorrhagic strokes, correct? Yes. Yes, so there's two type, types of stroke I mentioned before. One are the ischemic stroke, meaning there's one artery got blocked, so the brain does not receive the blood, the particular section of the brain. Mm -hmm. And the other one is hemorrhagic stroke, when it means an artery bursts. It just bleeds out and the blood gushes into the brain. This could be aneurysms, AVMs, vascular malformation, other type of uh, issues. So two different type of strokes. They present with similar symptoms right. once you have a damage or once a part of the brain doesn't work, the symptoms are the same. So if it's on the left side, people can speak and move the right side. It, this either because there's no blood supply to the part of the brain or because there's blood that just gushes out and just block that part of the brain from working. I want to reaffirm something that we had discussed earlier in the show, which is not all AVMs lead to strokes, correct? Right, so the AVM leads to stroke when it bursts. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you, you want to avoid that from happening because when it bursts, it's like a time bomb, so a patient can, can, you know, can not uh, survive the right. rupture. Um, so, of course, not all of them. So, like we said before, there's 1.2, 1.5, 100,000 have an AVM, and of those, probably half of them burst through their lifetime. So not all of them burst. There are some features that can detect which AVM is more likely to burst than not to burst, but uh, AVM are, 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 are a very particular of a very particular malignant nature. So I would say there's very few of benign AVM. One we, one we discover usually, but especially nowadays we can treat them successfully. We're very aggressive and then just treat them.